the Big Game Game I'm gonna be doing this episode is based on my collection. I'm gonna show all my video games, consoles, accessories, all my video game stuff, and one video. So I own. So because when I do these video games, I'm releasing it's all new. Was games I already had, or stuff I already had, or stuff I didn't show in a video, or stuff I didn't decide to do a video for. So I decided to get all that stuff done, so you can see all I do and stuff. So then I'll send to my duties, we are going to bring in recently, you only see the newest stuff. So let's get to it. Okay guys, now we're going to go for my, um, video game consoles here, it's the TV I use it on. And it has a DVD slash VCR player where I plug in all my games to. I usually have only one of these, so I change it out. So we'll constantly play. First of all, here I have my NES. Very cool. And it works and it has a controller here. Cool. Then we here we have my uh, Wii. But it works and it's, it's very cool too. Uh PlayStation 2, um this looks like I, I'm assuming it's the Slims. Uh, it has a black memory card for PlayStation 1. The PlayStation 2, I mean, and I placed in one of my cards because I do play PlayStation 1 games on this. And I have a PlayStation 2 controller. And all these so far have all the cords and the D and the Wii at there. Go back here to my Super Nintendo. Works. I'm surprised it works because it's pretty beat up and has some problems. I might have to re guess it and things, but it's cool. I, know. I won't be surprised if this is the one console I won't be surprised if I have to get a new one off, but. And I also have this Super Nintendo, this is like a turbo controller. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is an off brand, but it's still very cool. Yeah. And over here are my Wii controllers, I decided to do this. And now we have to open um, the show drawer here where I keep on running games. Okay, we have a GameCube with a memory card, and this is a complete. I have this complete. Uh, when I bought it, it was for $10 with this, the GameCube, and just the. Uh, um, of course, to hook up. I didn't have a controller, I already had a controller, and I had the memory card, so that was not too bad. I would go over here and do this one next. I got the Genesis. This is complete. It has all the cords and stuff. Controller and stuff, but I can't. I only got one game to walk in this. I got a bunch of games. Kind of, I got like one game to walk in the game, kind of. I don't know if it's the Genesis or the games. I doubt it's the game since how many games I've tried, and none of them really are working. I can't believe every Genesis game I'm buying does not work. I doubt it. So I'm assuming it's my Genesis, it could be something else, I don't know. And we got this PlayStation 2. Play uh. Then we got this PlayStation 1 here, and I have, it has an Atari stick on it. What I decided to put on it, because I had, I got a bunch of phones with the game, and I decided to be few from something, and yeah. It has all the cores, it works. I usually, I try to have it works, I play games on all of these, I've tried. The game I know works, I've tried to see if it works, I haven't really played anything on it. But, you know, cool. And I usually don't play anything on the PlayStation 1 or GameCube usually because I play usually GameCube games sometimes on the Wii. I don't, haven't played many GameCube games. I have one, a couple I need to cry. For PlayStation 1, I have a couple games I need to cry too. But I usually play them on the PlayStation 2 because I don't feel like getting this out, changing all the course and everything. So yeah. And that's all my consoles I have. It's only 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Only 7 consoles. Uh, I have also another one downstairs that I just forgot about. That's not up here. So I'm going to have to go downstairs and do that. Okay, so here's my. You can't quite see it. Here we go. N64. It has all the hookups. Um, it has a. It came with one of these, I think. The black controller. And a. The gray controller. Go with this so I can play with two people. I need to get to the first one sometimes. Uh, that could be actually very helpful and we could do. That's fun with that, so yeah. So, I see my controls, and now I'm going to see all the handheld stuff. First thing I'll see these, um, things. Um, we found them in the basement, there's a bunch of, well, my brothers also make stuff, and they were sitting up there for a while, we just had them out, took them out, and they were down for a while, and I decided, Take them up and out of my collection. So let's get started. These are all old handheld battery operated games. So we'll start with this one. This is by Metal Electronics. It is Football 2. It's a little operated thing. It has in the back. 
lots of batteries. Um, these are all batteries I've been using. I think just before, like the Game Boy. Most of these are probably before the Game Boy was around and most of the handheld stuff. So I like my footballs. I like my footballs too. Nothing to say. Look, we got this rocket pinball tape with like about a ton of batteries. Uh, a Tiger Electronics has a crack there. I have to use them. But then you press and on off with uh, none of these I actually have to try to see if they work. I'm, ass I'm assuming they just need batteries, but no, it does. So I got that. This got this one looks kind of pretty big, and one of them I think is by says Fusible Diamond on it. I'm assuming it's going to made it. It's a. Uh, I was doesn't really have a name like for what this is called. You do might be called Digital Diamond. That's the company name I'm which, but it's a baseball game. Yeah, it's a key battery, so all these different battery buttons on it, I have to keep scoring all this stuff. Pretty cool. Things I also like. Last one, please. I don't know if it counts if you're being related, but I just said, uh, put it in here, it kind of counts. I guess it kind of counts if you're saying, but it's probably more of a toy, but, you know, when uh, am I ever going to show this thing in? It's called... Spooky Doodle. Uh, before one of these things, we have this stick here. And then you move it and it draws up here and you like shake it to erase it and you can use this and it's, you can change it all. And you have these little things you, you get close up of these that you put one here and I'll put one on to show you. I think each one, they're all kind of a little broken, but you put one on. I might have back on exactly why. Give me a second here and they go like that and so you're gonna get like a certain shape or whatever. Some kind of points, you can just take it off and then go in any direction you want. But yeah, um, this was pretty cool. Um, I want to see if it has a company name. Probably it doesn't. This is made by Hasbro. Okay, that's kind of cool. Hasbro. It's a lot of cool stuff with like GAD or Capcom or stuff. Okay, now we got through there. Now we're gonna be able to actually see what we're doing and stuff. So hmm. we got to talk with this bad boy. Uh, this is a blue Nintendo Game Boy Advance. Now this, um, well it's Game Boy Advance SP, whatever, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Advance SP, this is Game Boy Advance SP, Blue Game Boy Advance SP, and it does not work. I can see we had a bunch of stickers on it, but that's not why it doesn't work, that we try to get off, but this is kind of like on you. I have some in my collection, because I don't know if I am going to get another one, so if I don't, I can say I have one in my collection, but uh, this was like, quite as any, I can drop it, and it was in the pool, and it didn't work, it was in the pool for like, like, what? He has it in the pocket, jumps in the pool, it fell out. Then, the, like an hour or so later, he's like, what's that? It's the pool, and then Greg gets out. This thing also gets in the toilet, so it's not. And then after the swimming thing, it still works, but then after the pool, it's like, oh, no, it's not gonna work. But I guess being in the pool, kinda. These things don't have a pool for me, but. It's still cool, so I like collecting. Um, it's like for Joe for these. This is, I got this at, um, if you mark it, it's to be more color. Um, it's one of those purple sleepy ones, and it works. Uh, it doesn't have a back cover for it though, um, but sometimes you don't, you don't get those, so it's not too big of a deal. I paid like, I think I'm the $10 for it, so it's not too bad. Now the next Game Boy Color is, I got another Game Boy Color, and this is a different one, different color one. <coughs> it's a different color one, it is the Mm. It's a different color one, it's the blue Game Boy color. Just blue is not a see for anything. And this one actually has the back. And I didn't have any batteries and I have batteries, I think my butt too much easier for me, but this one also works, this one's cool. It's cool about the funny security and I got that at the well in this. An original Game Boy color came in this original box. It was cool and I came in the box, I saw it and I was like I knew I was getting it. And you know, up here then have you saw it in company games or anything. It has all the manuals, the little advertisements and all that kind of stuff. It was very cool. Uh I paid eight dollars for this was I would pay eight dollars for just the game boy I think itself, I would have. So what's the manual and everything in the box and all that? It was very cool. Now we're going to my DS's. I want to say the best thing I've had. Best best thing for that. This is my black DS, it has a bunch of uh, guitar here stickers on it, 
And the game website had this little white thing you put over it. This is for a white DS, but it doesn't matter. You say it doesn't have. I don't have a pen for this. I think I lost it. I think works somewhere. Um, the top, the bottom screen, but one of these screens doesn't work. Uh, the top screen does not work. We actually bought a top screen, took this apart, and tried to fix it. It, it, it did not work. We got back together, and it's cool we got back together. But, um, it didn't work. This is still, I'm keeping this because one, uh, hello you can talk to your stickers on it's not even because of the ass, that's kind of stupid. When it's a black DS, uh, I can have it. Yeah, that's my collection. I have a bunch of DS's, I have like three DS's, but, and I can still, like, I can put Game Boy Advance game in it, and play on the bottom screen, just Game Boy Advance games. But I can still play Game Boy Advance games, since I don't have a, on my Game Boy Advance SP, uh, play, play what? That's kind of cool. But, I did get a new DS. We have a stiff one, the special Zelda edition DS. It has the pen. It has the bottom case. It also has this little red thing for the DS game. Pretty quick. They can have the bottom for the Game Boy. The Game Boy Advance also one thing for the DS little red thing. I don't know. Yeah, guys, I found what came with it. I don't know, but yeah, it works. This one works for the DS and Game Boy. This game's also cool. Now, but this I got last year for Christmas. It's a special edition. The LDS, I'm not saying you're so good. This is a different one. This is a special edition of the LDS. 3DS. It's a 3DS. Oh, it's the special edition of the other ones. I like the really cool one. Um, uh, it has the. Uh, where is it? A little pen and it can extend. That's kind of, I think, cool. Um, this is really cool. I also have. I kept this. Box boy, I'm um, just a box. They complete. Um, uh, you probably know what game it came with, but I'm not just gonna say it because uh, when I show the game, I wanna show it. There's some other games. So, yeah, this is like really cool. Again, and yeah. Now we're going to the last thing I have for my handhelds. It is this. I found this. I think I found it. Not this year. I was like last. It wasn't this year, it was last year, it was, it was after I started going to school and it was really, I found that game with my friend Tyler was there. It's the only thing I picked up because it was just so awesome I had to get it. Uh, it was $15, it came with a game with it, and it was the Sega Game Gear. Now I've, never, I've seen these before, I've seen them out a while on Swift Wars, I've seen like games for it, but I haven't seen them um, actual um, Game videos. I've seen that I mean, like, um, I've seen that like certain places where I had tons of games. Like, uh, certain people at the flea markets have like, you know, have all kinds of games. Have them, but they're not how to play for. I would feel comfortable playing with them all. I usually don't even look at them. But this was that. So like, I, you know, like one. And I actually got one. This one works. Came with the game. It was a fourth game. Back to that later. And it was fifteen dollars. That was actually. I was like, I'm gonna get, I mean, this is all getting, I don't care. That's all I got for that. That's all I got for okay. Um, the, that's all I can have, and I went for my consoles. Stay tuned for part two, where I go for my Atari and NES game. Bye.